Today, we have a story on cheer tryouts and about COVID-19. I'm Alex, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Seniors, the counseling department needs you to complete the senior graduation plan and scholarship form. This is how they know where to send your final high school transcript. Please get it done as soon as possible. Seniors, if you are interested in a scholarship only for Sigmund High students, the deadline for it is May 24th. Make sure to check Schoology for more information. Seniors, make sure to finish the survey on your class page and fill out the activity sheet for the yearbook. Check Schoology for more info. Juniors and seniors, if you are interested in attending Afterglow on July 30th, please check your Schoology page to sign up. The KSTE developed a college admissions document that provides helpful admissions and financial aid links. Check Schoology for more information. Players' audition applications need to be in May 17th. Auditions will be held through Google Hangouts on May 19th. Contact Mr. Stoffer if you have any questions. Make sure to check Schoology to fill out the yearbook survey. Promise plan for July 30th. Check Schoology for more info and to sign up. Vicette Dance Team Clinics and auditions will be held on July 13th to the 15th. Contact Mrs. Shoemaker with any questions. Let's see how much longer this rain will last. Over to Zoe with the weather after this quick commercial break. You're here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Good afternoon, Vikings. As you can see, it's going to be a very stormy day today with multiple severe weather chances this afternoon, including high winds, large hail, possible tornadoes, and possible flooding throughout this afternoon. As you can see on the radar, we are seeing it start the more severe this afternoon, and this is all going to continue into Friday night and Saturday night, but luckily, Sunday we will get a little bit of a break. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, as I said earlier, Sunday we are finally going to stop experiencing all this rain and severe weather, and we will have a little stretch there where we can go outside and enjoy ourselves. Now back to your ring. Madison has a story on COVID-19 medical updates. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, I talked to a local woman who is a nurse in Topeka, Kansas about COVID-19 and hopefully she can answer some basic questions that you might have. The best way that you know we have found that protecting other people and yourselves is by everybody wearing a mask. That way you're not contaminating each other as far as it being an airborne, airborne um, virus. The best way to protect yourself is to wash your hands after you've had contact with anything. So gloves, no, not recommended. I don't think it'll ever completely go away. I think this is, you know, as it says, a virus and we tend to see those over a long period of time. If they come up with a, a vaccine, that is to be determined, but as far as viruses go, they do tend to mutate. Obviously, if you come into the hospital and you have 
symptoms and you fit the criteria, you will be tested um, for COVID. Otherwise, there are options as far as if you've talked to your primary care physician, we do a lot of the telehealth appointments. Um, they are able to drive up to our emergency room and to our ambulance bay area, get swabbed and then leave. And that's for people that are not experiencing very severe symptoms. Um, I know Stormont, they have a drive-through clinic. As far as death toll, um, statistically, I know I check it multiple times a week um, and it's continuing to go up. Is it necessarily as high every single day? No, but you have to take into consideration a large portion of that began in New York and now that New York is containing it, their numbers aren't climbing significantly. So big cities like that contribute to the fact that the curve and the number of death toll, you know, is lowered. Right now, as far as visitor policies, we are still only allowing um, the staff and very few fa family members. If somebody has like a caregiver and they have an appointment or they have a certain test and they have to have somebody with them, those people are being allowed in, but otherwise, no visitors are still not allowed. Vikes, make sure you're supporting your nurses, doctors, and other healthcare workers during this time. And when you go outside, please make sure you're wearing a mask and stay safe. Hopefully this pandemic will end soon. Today is the last day for seniors. Let's look back at the SVTV senior staff. What's up, Vikes? Welcome to the first show of the year. I'm Sophie, and this is your Monday Report. I'm a part of the staff creating the daily news show. Hey Vikes, it's currently 51 degrees and tonight it's going to get down pretty chilly. Hey Vikes, I'm not Lane, but this is still your Monday report. Hey Vikes, happy Wednesday. I'm Riley and you're watching SVTV. Good afternoon. So I've seen a lot of people smiling recently because the weather's been just so nice. Students can learn even more about broadcast journalism by enrolling in broadcast too. So that is your latest weather forecast. Riley, back to you. Cows are going to be the future of weather forecasting. Because we're having a def technical difficulty. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's National Hug a News Person Day. Can I have a hug? Thank you. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and as many of you know, I love parkour. Did you hear that? Okay. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf? So if you're hanging out with your family, you know, you might just want to have a pajama party. Oh, hey, seniors. Normally this time, SVTV shooting senior thank yous. No, this is not Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, so that's what you meant by the line. I thought you meant the plant. Don't you remember from the plant interview? Let's watch it again to refresh your memory. You're watching the number one high school daily news show in Topeka. Not gonna lie, Josh, I am very blinded out here. It is incredibly bright. I'm going to miss them. Congratulations to all the seniors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day.